right. All right, Sierra, you got to go. This ain't your life. This is my life. You got to go. Who one likes this, Sierra? Sierra, you got you, you to go. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, sorry, everyone. I'll be back. Whoever everyone is, I don't care. Hmm. What's wrong? Can you not see us? I can't. No. Uh, you go to my page. Why don't you go to my page? Then go. Yeah, something live and very strong. You should say Corey Shark went live or something. Yeah, there's usually a little thing over the top saying Corey Shark went live. Am I live? It says I'm live, right? I'm pretty sure it says start live. There you go. Uh, no, it says I'm live. There are two people watching. All right. Well, two people are watching. Uh, if you oh, post, here we go. Here we go. Okay. If you post comments. Hopefully, Shane will be able to see them. All right, everyone. Welcome to week four of the yes. blind taste testing uh, here in Mountain House. Like I said earlier, if you put it on beer and you talk about the beers and the flavors and the appearance and the smell, not it's no longer just being a drunk. Um, it's being a con a, a, a connoisseur. Connoisseur. Yeah, connoisseur. That's what we are, connoisseurs. So today's tasting. Is four. Yeah, don't don't yeah. run this out. For sure. <laughs> Here we go. All right, today's tasting is four local-ish double IPAs. Uh, we do not know which double IPA is which. Uh, that's kind of the point. I will tell you that what we have here somewhere is a collaboration between Altamont and Ghost Town. Yes. So Altamont's in Livermore. Ghost Town is in Oakland. Uh, both of those have pretty nice facilities. Ghost Town facility is pretty sweet. If you ride a bike, all of their bike racks are little tombstones. It's kind of cool. Um, they also have pinball games. And, uh, it's a lot of open space. Yeah, a ton of open space. It's, it's a good spot. They got uh, decent snacks there. It's a good spot in Oakland. Uh, Altamont's got a great tap room. Uh, it's Shane's favorite spot for sure. He might want to hunt it out how good Altamont is. It's about five minutes away from my work, so that makes a difference too. But it's, it's very nice, very open. Um, Lots of different beers on tap. Not enough snacks for my taste, but they usually have a good food truck rotation going through there. So do like me the Altamont. All right, so we also have Morgan Territory. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that if you're watching us, you've been to Morgan Territory. That is our local brewery. It's uh, over in Tracy. They have a beautiful facility. Uh, we do our fantasy football draft every, yep. day, every year there now. Uh, we love it. They have a great deal going on cake. So if you haven't gotten a cake already for your quarantine drinking, you should definitely look into a keg rate. You're talking about $50 kegs over there in Morgan. That's a buck and a quarter a pint, man. You ain't gonna beat that shit with a stick. Like you cost me one not to make my batches. It does. <laughs> and then our final offer today here is a beer from a company called Crooked Lane. They are located out in Auburn, um, roughly in the same area as Moonraker and Needy. So if you're ever in the Auburn area, you can hit all three of those and uh, have a good time. Crooked Lane's facility is a former auto shop, or not auto shop, but auto dealer, which is reasonably typical of a lot of breweries. So it's got a real nice open space, nice big open windows, a beautiful covered outside section. Uh, it's a nice spot. We've only, I've only been once. We were going to go again this year uh, when we picked Cali up from camp, but uh, apparently you can't put 75 kids in cabins together in the middle of a pandemic. So they canceled that in shit. The woods. <laughs> so they canceled that. <laughs> so that's not happening. Um, but they are doing a delivery order. Uh, we ordered this one on delivery. Uh, it's pretty decent price. Ten dollar flat rate shipping for a case. That's six four packs. Uh, I want to say ours is like hundred and two dollars. I think for six four packs plus shipping plus tax plus tip. I want to oh, say. Not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. It's like hundred and two. I think. So you can be like fifty six. It might be one twelve. Um, so it's pretty good. All right. So the way this works is we're gonna basically smell the beers, rate them on taste. And then uh, just give you our thoughts and see which one we think will be the best of the beers. Uh, I didn't do this last time, um, but I can. this time I want to let you know that I think that the most likely, I, I think from a blind tasting perspective that I am probably going to like, well, this one's going to be close, I think. Uh, I think there's a good chance that I'm going to like the Crooked Lane beer the best here today, um, personally. I'm thinking so too. I got nice beer, so we're gonna try Although that. I do like. Um, I've always liked the Morgan Territory Double. So, so it's hard to say. You never know when you do these blind tastes. If you like beer, maybe you should do a blind taste. Your your expectations they never quite match up. That's um, true. 
usually you just think, oh, this one's going to be great. And then you're just like, this beer was like my 19th favorite beer. I could pick those things up. Yeah. Um, all right, so we are going to get started. Uh, we're going to start with this beer up here for me. Yep. I'm uh, I, by the way, shout out to Patty. You're right. We're trying to keep the good social distance. Six yeah. Feet. It's close. Like three feet. It's good. Six inch. Good. All yeah. right. All right, so this is beer number one here. Hopefully, you guys get an okay view on it. I like the color. Um, I can move it closer. I'm not sure how great the cover is going to be here for the coloring. My lighting's not great in this beautiful backyard we just got done before the pandemic that no one gets to visit. What? Can you see it? Oh, good. So it's got a nice color. It's a nice golden color. Yep. Uh, clearly not a hazy. None of these are hazies, though. So we did hazies last week. Oh, this smells great. This smells really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking about doing this a little differently today. I'm thinking not to try it yet. I think we should rate them all on appearance ah, and smell first, okay. right? Production. And then we'll go back and rate the taste. Okay, okay. right? I get it. Because otherwise, I think we'll, we'll overpower a little. That's a fair point. So yeah, this is great. This smells that, great. I'm giving that two nines. Yeah, I think I that's like the color. totally reasonable. Like two nines is I great like for this. Smells. It's a beautiful looking beer. Ah, beautiful. That's great. All right, beer number two is a little darker. Little I don't, amber. I don't even know what it color. means that the beer is darker. I'm assuming it just means they use a different grain. Usually some roasted malt, so you're going to get a maltier flavor, and it definitely smells maltier. Oh, there's a smell in this. This smells, this smells, this smells great. This smells better I than think, the last I one, think, I, think. I think. Well, this is a maltier one smell to me, at least. Oh, it is. No, it's, I, I smell less, it's malt. I, smell I love the malty smell. Pining hops. Yeah, the, you know, like the Schwartz beer. Yeah, like a Schwartz, it's not like a Schwartz beer. Yep, yep. Yes. This that's is, just the roasted malt. This is totally good. I don't like it quite smell. as much, but that's just because I'm looking for an IPA. Oh, I love that. I'm bringing this thing a 10 on smell. This might be the best beer I've tasted in a while. But I do like the appearance as well. I like the darker color. Yeah, I think it's probably still a nine. It's not a perfect beer, I think. All right, well, first party foul's gone. It's good. Oh, and by the way, I like the setup. These these uh, tasting racks are gorgeous. So. I know. The wife does a great job. She's, she's, she's the best. pretty talented. All right, beer number three number here. Three. Uh, this is a more hazy. It's way less see through. It's not see through at all. Yeah, this is likely the unfiltered one, uh, which is probably hints on which one it is, but I forgot which one of the IPAs is going to filter. So, I'm filtered too. I smell. Oh yeah, this has got to be the Altamont, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Really, I honestly don't know. Does it like, smell like weed? No, no. But but Altamont doesn't like unfiltered beer. But I feel like it smells like weed. I mean, it's one of their slogans is to say "Make beer clear again." So I don't. I, maybe this isn't the Altamont, but this is dainty it's, as it's fuck. It's definitely got some dank to it. Yes, yes. There's no arguing that. It's not yes. my favorite smell in beer. Um, I'm gonna give that a. a I like the smell. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm like actually that. gonna go eight on it. I think the smell's um, not my favorite. The unfiltered look is good. Uh, I don't see a lot of particulates. Um, I think this might have been best of the appearances. Yeah, um, I like. I'm gonna give it that one an eight too. So I'm gonna go nine on my appearance for that. As you can tell, both Shane and I are very nice on appearances and smells. We're not super big critics, I guess. Well, I mean, right. you know, it's hard to mess up an IPA and color and smell. All right, last beer. This beer is wow. This beer is clear. This look is at this. way too clear for me. I mean, look, look at the difference between, yeah. That is crystal clear. Well, your glass is clearer than my glass. I know. It's, it's the, the fatness. This has got Danky, too. I think this is. This, must, this might be the ultimate day. That's what I think. I actually think it smells worse than the last Danky one, though. Yeah, I'm not liking yeah, I'm whatever. Going, I'm going down like a seven here on this. I'm not a big fan of it. Go with a seven on the smell. Beautiful and crystal actually, clear no, though. Like, give it a six because I like the second one better. I think it might be the prettiest of the beers. But I'm I actually going to give it a clear here on clear. I love the clearness on this. I think it's great. I want to go with an eight on the clearness. I think it's great. I think it's crystal. It's really nice. I think a nice clear beer is great. All right. Okay, let's see. Dana says we're not six feet apart. Sure. Okay, come on here. I'll move over to this corner. There is is he out of the frame now? I don't no, know. I'm, I'm, let me see. Hold on. <laughs> No, I'm still good. And Patty wants us to chug. That's not the point of that, an that's, IPA testing. That's a di- that is a different there, taste okay, there. test. Are, you, are, are we better now? Are we better? <laughs> that's a different taste test. <laughs> that's not a taste test. One day that's we'll, a stamina test. One day we'll rack up some Michelob Ultra, <laughs> some Blue Moon, and we'll chug it. We'll t- we'll rate we'll rate weird beers when we chug. It'll be great. We need oh. an idea for next week anyway. Boy. <laughs> Patty's wondering if we're going to hug when we're done. I don't think, I think so. so. No, Patty, we're not hugging. We're going to we're gonna eat homemade hot chicken by wife. That's Literally. Right. Literally homemade, like from scratch, buns and hot sauce. I can't wait. For and me. the breading is all from scratch. Uh, we bought the chickens. Um, we did kill them ourselves, though, so that's fine. I'm kidding. We bought chickens, frozen chickens. Um, if we could have bought them and killed them ourselves, it probably would be disgusting. I probably wouldn't do it. I did. But, you don't yeah. want to kill a chicken. It's the, it's the, the feathers. It sounds like a lot of work. A lot of work. Anyway, so we're going to be chickens. Here we go. We're starting up. Let's do it. Mm. 
Well, for what the smell is, I'm disappointed in the taste. Oh, that's super fair, I think, yeah. I mean, it's not, the smell, the aroma was giving me a whole lot more expectation. Like a more fruity sort of expectation yep. a little bit. Yeah. You guys got a little Sierra's tail there once you walk by the camera. Thanks, Sierra. I mean, it's good. It's not bad. I expect all these guys are going to be good. <laughs> the whole dog walk through. <laughs> Thanks, Sierra. You know, I don't... Mm. I don't love this. <sighs> Me either. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I'm going to revise it because I think this is the ultimate. This, this is will be the ultimate. ultimate. Wow. I, I think so. This is the third beer we thought might be the ultimate right here. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm calling it with the taste. But I, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. I haven't had the Hess beer. I've had the Ultima collab, and I don't remember what it has because I drink too much, and all the beers are sort of blended. Yeah, I had it. I had it as well, and it, that's. I've never had the Hess. I think I'm I've sure had I've had. Hot, I'm pretty sure I've had Hot Tomic at some point, but I'm not going to remember what that tasted like at all. Yeah. Well, I've definitely had it. Right, I've done the 17 beer taste for Morgan. A point. <laughs> so I probably had it. Um, so taste is out of 30. Ugh. I'm not a huge fan. I would like. I'm going to go like 21. Yeah, I was going to go like 22. About 70, so that's pretty good. It's not bad. And mostly it's because I'm not a big fan of the aftertaste. There's just... Well, that's a different rate. I know, but it's it's there's the taste and then there's the aftertaste. I'm going to go a little bit lower on that because it, it's more hop forward than it is and there's not a whole lot in the finish of it. Yeah, I'm not going to ton of the hop, ton of the aftertaste either here. I'm going to give the aftertaste about a 10. I'm not a huge fan of it. Drinkability-wise, I think it probably rates pretty close to the taste. I think it might be a little bit more on the drinkability side just because I think it smelled great and it looked great. So if you get a glass of this, I think you're going to think, I'm going to drink that. It's a nice glass. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go 22 on my drinkability here. I'm going to go with, with I'm going to go with 18. So my score for this beer is 9, is 18, 39, 49, 51, 71 here for me. 68 for me. It's good though. It's good. I'm not... Not dogging out the beer, I would order it. I mean, you know, if this were a keg of this in my house, I didn't get a keg. That's fair. I mean, if I paid, like, well, and I paid for it, so the glass is not going to go to waste. I oh will yeah. finish. Oh yeah, we're drinking it all. I'm going to drink the whole thing for sure. All right. We're going to move on to beer number two. Any more questions? Are we okay? Nope. No one said anything. Right, I can't tell how many people are watching. Oh, four people. Four, yes. Four New people. record, baby. Yes. You might count as one, though, so it might just I'm be three. Right. Oh, <laughs> down to three. Shit, we screwed it up. Uh, whatever. Haters. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What are you guys doing for quarantine? Nothing. <laughs> we got to do something to spend the time. I do still. This is... God, this smells so good. It smells so good. Sierra, I'm trying to calm it down. Oh, now it's down to two. Oh, well, well. I'm saving it and posting it anyway. Yeah. Mm. Corey's going to like this one a lot. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Ooh, I'm... wow. What is that aftertaste, I wonder? It's like a New Zealand hop, I think. I think, I think it might be a New right. Zealand hop. Like a Motueka or something, maybe. That's like one of the more common New Zealand hops. So it's got like a, a very similar to like a Sierra Nevada pale ale aftertaste, too. I don't know what that is. Oh, it totally does. It's just that's it's probably, bigger. That's probably a good whatever, whatever it is. If it's whatever hop that is. I think they do something in the fermentation, too. But This is, this is good. Yeah, this isn't my favorite. Yeah, I could drink the shit out of this thing. All right. Like, I dig on this taste. Uh, I'm going to rock. I got 26 on this. I think it's good. Um, I think the aftertaste is good, too. I'm going to go 17 on my aftertaste I'm going to go with 22. No, 23. It was slightly better than the one before. Yeah, I'm going to go 20. <clears throat> and I do actually like the aftertaste of this one a little bit. I'm going to go 27 on my drinkability. 13. I think the aftertaste and the taste both are, are really quality. This is going to be hard. This will be a hard score to beat. I got 18. 36, 46, 20, 46, 3, 70. I got 90 on this BZ. 90. 55, 50. Okay, 2, 6. I'm going to 73. No, I don't know. My mathing is bad. 18. Oh, that's 44. 51, you know, 61. You need to subtract the 68. You took away 88. This is why you're, you're, you know, this is how you're supposed to teach your daughter to do the math, right? This is the new math. That's not new math. I was doing new math. I was just doing it like the hard way, apparently. Your subtracting would have made way more sense. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Hey, thanks for being on time today. I was worried you were going to be late. I was telling my wife. Well, I only drove like, all over hell. I was like, what the fuck? Why is he always late? I was like, he's a lawyer, not a doctor. They're supposed to be on time. I was on time. You were on time. When we're late, it's my wife's fault. You were Always on time. my wife's fault. It's just true. know that. 
It's true. We're going to invite them over probably next weekend and I'll play some hearts. Does anyone want to watch this live stream hearts? I'm kidding. That sounds boring as shit. No, no. Fuck it. We'll do it anyway, though, because why the fuck not? Because <laughs> what the hell else are we going to do? <laughs> Just live stream our lives on weekends. I'm liking the smell of this one more and more and more. Really? The dank This is the danky one, right? Yeah. Dude, it's so danky. It's, it's like crazy. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good, though. It's really good. Hey, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Carrie Burton? Yes. Carrie. Tell Dana hello. Yeah, tell Dana hello. We love you guys. One of these days, we're making it down to Cabo. We've been there once. I love that shit. I got the beer sign in my fr in my in my room. It's awesome. Also, your post on the robot kitty litter thing almost made me want to buy a robot kitty litter thing. And then <laughs> I saw the price, and I was like, six hundred and fifty dollars. Holy shit! Whoa, man. whoa, whoa! Does yeah. like a robot actually come out and take the?
Yeah, we have NATO. We're okay. So yeah, we just need some options on beer flavors for next week, guys. Joe says Hefeweizen, which is not my thing. Hefeweizen are not my jam. So. I enjoy Hefs. So I, I think I would be. I, would, I think it might be hard for us to find four Hefs. I, I guess you could find them. They'd mostly be mass produced. They wouldn't be local breweries. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem it has. That's your problem with local breweries. They got a lot of IPA options. What else is there locally, though? I mean, mm. well, we could do the multi beers like we could do. They're gonna like come out with a bunch of German like styles. Four reds. We do four reds. They're gonna come out with some Maritzens or. Oh, I do four Maritzens all day. You know, there's it's because it's coming up to the warmer time of year. You'll get some lighters, some lagers, and that kind of stuff. So, basically, just give us some styles, and then no. I check the local breweries and figure out what we got. I do Maritzens. I love Maritzens though. I got a cake this on New Zealander. We dry hopped it the other day. About five days ago. You do like the New Zealand hops. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, it's like five days ago. Literally, it's like literally five days ago. What was? Oh, we dry hopped. You got it five days ago. <clears throat> Nathan, you don't need refined taste. You either like the beer or you don't like the beer. None of us, none of us is beer sommelier certified, whatever the fuck it's called. It's quarantine. We just like to drink. And not for not, uh, we, we can pester Amber to make us something yummy again next week. Even though it's Mother's Day weekend. Pretzel dogs. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, my God. Did you guys know what you guys didn't see the pretzel dogs? You made, oh, wow. The pretzel dogs were the bomb. Cameron loved it. I actually had to share one with him. And he never eats the... You only shared he, one with him when he you had three? Pulls, he, yeah! <laughs> he got one! Lucky little shit. I don't know. He, oh, I thought he, you meant... You get him the corn dogs it. or mini corn dogs. Like, you get mini corn dogs at B-dubs. He pulls the breading off. He did not pull the breading off of yours. Pretzel. What a weirdo. The breading's the best part. I, if you're eating a corn dog, you eat the corn with the dog. Otherwise, you just got a hot dog. Anyway, my son. No, yeah, no, the pretzel dog, so... Okay, Nathan Serena wants Ambers. I think we can pull that off. We can do Ambers. We can do four I think Ambers. we can pull Ambers off. We can probably find that. We can find four Ambers. Oh, you want to sit here? This was the bad. This was my favorite. And uh, smell it. <clears throat> Gotta get the smell. It smells like the poison. What? what? I don't know what the hell what? her palate is, you, but what? that what? beer does not smell what? like Budweiser. It does not. If you heard that. That shit does not smell like Budweiser. First of all, I am not convinced she even knows what Budweiser smells like because I cannot remember the last time she drank it. Like, literally, never. Fair. So that is an unfair assessment. I drank it when I was like five and six, and my dad gave me six. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? She drank it when she was five. Who didn't drink five? Five. Like, dad, everybody got six. All right, their this one was Shane's favorite. No, no, see, in my house, back when I'm, I'm old, so when I was a kid, they didn't have the pull tabs. You actually had to punch the hole in the can with your finger. And Coors had the little tiny hole in the back of the can. Mm -hmm. But my dad's fingers were too big. But oh, so your you five and six year old fingers are just the right size. What you're saying is you had a happy mom. So <laughs> my mom and dad weren't together at five. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Mom and dad weren't together after two, but that's a whole other big story fingers, for a different big day. Fingers. We got to drink a lot more for that conversation. But anyway. I always got the first sip. If you punch the back hole for the drinkers, for the beer, you get the first sip of the beer. That was the reward. So, are you really to punch with your hand? You, yeah, the, with your finger. Yeah. How old are you, Jesus? I'm motherfucking old, <laughs> old. I mean, well, I'm not Joe Biden old. What was the Great What was the Great Depression like? It's, we might be going through that again. I, I do remember. Advice? Okay, look like no. You, you can be funny. I do remember gas rationing. I remember being with my dad. Oh, the Iran Contra. And, and, like and you had to have. You only got gas depending on the last digit of your license plate, whether it was odd or even. That was like and, seventy nine years, yeah, though, right? So yeah. It was like seventy eight, seventy nine. And I'm not saying that people had different numbered license plates in their trunk that they would switch to make sure they could get I'll gas think, think in their car that only got like ten miles to the gallon. I'm not saying that happened. I'm not, I mean, gas is literally zero dollars a barrel. Because motherfuckers featured it, and nobody wants it. It's not even zero. It's negative. It, they're actually paying people right, not to produce oil. It, yeah. That's crazy. Anyway. The later, Nathan. Cracks me. Later, be Nathan. Safe. Be safe, Nathan. I mean, he goes to work with guns and shit, so, you know. He does. He does. You he's got to be safe. 
Because some of those people is responsible for like our safe being, so we can. So we can do this Saturday. kind of shit. Nathan's responsible for that. You're done. She's fatting you up. I'm telling you. We should change my name to Hansel. She's gonna fucking eat me. It makes sense. She will eat me before whoa, whoa, she whoa, whoa, the whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep the personal life off of the stream. No, she's gonna eat me, man. Like legit, like fucking Wicked Witch of the West style. I gotta believe you're not gonna be very tasty. You're kind of old and rough. You know what I mean? Kind of look bristly. All right, I'm I'm slowing down, but this is so fucking good. What? Oh yeah, I didn't eat a lot of it, and I ran. Actually, I probably shouldn't be eating the rest of the car. I did not run. I went for a bike ride. You did eat earlier. But the one with the engine under you, no. Oh my god, I want to go on a bike ride like a pedal bike ride, but I broke my ass the other day on the rollerblading. I saw that. So, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Rollerblading's fucking hard. Rollerblade will fuck your glutes up massively. Although I saw Callie, she looked pretty good on it. She looked like she handled it. Callie's great. She doesn't have like fucking 12 years of skateboarding to fuck her ankles. There's that. Turns out you need good ankles to properly rollerblade. That is true. That is true. Who knew? Oh, and, and I didn't say Christy. Christy, Christy. Ernst. Hi, hey, Christy. Didn't say hey to you. You joined us after the tasting, I think. How By the it? way, if you haven't, her fucking chicken eggs are awesome. I was about to ask how her egg stock was because oh. the wife might need eggs. Oh, man. Her Do you not need eggs? Awesome. Oh, we don't need eggs. Sorry, Christy. It's not personal. No, I, I just a Costco. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I, I prefer my chickens injected with antibiotics That's anyway. That's true. Sure, I'm literally anti GMO. I'm a weird guy. How are you anti GMO? Are you anti anti? I'm anti anti GMO. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I'm, I'm like pro I'm, GMO. I, I'm 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 not anti GMO. Oh uh, no, seriously, it's so filling. Yeah, Killing I'm me. super full. Super. I'm gonna. I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I can go anywhere for the rest of the day. I'm so full. <laughs> It'll be really really hard for me to just drag myself in my bedroom. And play Magic Arena for eight more it's gonna hours. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a hard, hard So day, hard, so hard. But I think you can pull it off. You can't have it, baby. My, my. Spicy fat for I you. have faith in you. Sierra, I dropped some over here if you want It is some. not it's as hot. spicy as you would have thought. I thought it would be spicy. It's funny, too. when we tasted it yesterday. No, it's like a stream of us spicy. chatting. <laughs> but I guess with all the breading and stuff. Yeah, it's the, not... the sauce itself on its own is spicy. It's a good sauce. It's a, no, it's definitely a good sauce. Good. Maybe so, I should have added him. There's still two people watching this nonsense, and I don't one know. One of them's you. One of them might be me. <laughs> and the I don't know who please. the other one is at this point. No, it says who joins, so I don't know who it is. I don't know. It whatever. says who joins, but it doesn't say who leaves. So I don't know. And we, by the way, Jen wanted us to do tequila tasting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will fucking do it. I will do I don't it. I have enough tequila. Uh, number one, I don't have enough have tequila. tequila. Number two, that's how all. you get shit faced. But I ain't trying to buy tequila for I'm willing to do it, but you have to be there, Jen. And, say that. And like we have to do like a group supplying of the tequilas because that's like, true. I do not need more bottles of tequila nope. in my house. Nope. We don't have any now. And it would be nice. We might be able Oh, Jen is actually still here. So right, Jen, Jen, if you want to do a tequila tasting, you have to participate. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I guess you could leave Nathan home with the girls. I'm sure that'll go well, right? I mean, if you and the girls have been isolated for like four months or whatever the fuck the rest of us have <laughs> been isolated for, I suppose you're probably not contagious. So, I mean, I guess they could play on the trampoline or something. I don't know, fucking know. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. I'm about, to th I'm about to throw a fucking birthday party just to be like one of those people who makes it all over Facebook. I'm kidding. I don't kidding, want I'm people kidding. on that trampoline, Corey. What the fuck are you talking about? You, this, the fact that the net covers half of it. And Bitch, you didn't have no net you. when you trampoline when you were a kid. <laughs> I personally, I think nets are stupid on nets the Nets are fucking, that's why I don't give a shit about the net being all fucked up. Look, Cal. Did you do all of your things? I did my cream on my green box and that and uh, vacuum. You have and dishwasher. Okay, so you have one more block coming at seven, I think. Will you be able to finish the rest of your stuff at the seven o'clock block? Yeah, it's reading. And the rest of whatever else is on your list. Yeah, just reading. This okay, was so awesome. Good. Have your mom do it because my phone is currently living us. Oh, and I have your mom's phone. Ooh, I wonder what's on my wife's phone. Uh oh. Are there dick pics on Everstock's phone? Answer is. Uh, are there? I don't know. I'm not going there. I'm not going there, Shane. <laughs> no, Amber, I have your phone. It's fine. Wait, the next block was at five anyway, Callie. Um, Callie, you should have time. I 
And it just started like right now at four. It like just started at four. So we just hang double check. Our bathing suit? Is that our thing now? Yeah, actually the same outfit. I can't get my son out of sweat, so. Dude, I, anyway. Fuck, man, I'm still telling myself I have to shower every morning. No, I don't. Do you work? Yeah. Why you look like I haven't guy? shaved in. I trim. Seven I don't weeks? like the hair right here. It bugs me. Yeah, so I need to. I need I to. I, sh I should clean it up. Anyway, I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, we're probably done. Does anyone have any questions before I shut off our feed? And I think Jen the only one left. Days? Jen, thank you for joining us. Thanks for hanging out with us, Jen. Thank you very much for staying strong in that video of the attempted abduction. I agree with that. That was some BS. I think you, your your point was she's batshit crazy and we all agree. We are not fucking around. We will do a tasting with Jen or with Kenneth and we don't care. We will taste the alcohol with anybody. Yeah, right now they're looking at Ambers, so we might need to get some Ambers for next weekend. But I'm guessing Saturday since Mother's Day is Sunday. Ain't nobody going nowhere for Mother's Day. Yeah, but Dee's might get that. But right. she could come on Sunday. So she's going to. She does plan to come. So. All right, we're so. going to cut the feet off as soon as the wife reaches over there to push the hey, stop look, button. Hey, look, seriously, stay safe. Salute. Stay home. Cheers. Ish. All the other foreign language things that involve beer and Prost. alcohol. Love right. you guys. Thanks for joining us. Yes, Thanks a lot. Take a drink. Uh, Jennifer was there the whole time. Finish. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh.